Say, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? I am your host, Lacey G. Soldier Turner, and I got a very special guest with me today. Uh, he's an author, serial tech entrepreneur, website developer, youth motivational speaker, husband and father, and there's so many great things, man. Listen, we got the amazing, talented Danelle Powell. Welcome to the platform. Man. I appreciate it. Appreciate that good intro, brother. I appreciate everything, man. Let's uh, Let's get into it. How's everything going? I mean, everything going good with me. I'm living. You know, my birthday was just this past weekend. Oh, man. Happy belated birthday. I know you had to turn up. <laughs> right, yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so, look, my first question I got for you, you know, yes, to let sir. people know about you. Where were you born and raised and how was your upbringing as a child? Okay, man. You got to represent the D313. So born yeah. in Detroit, man. Uh, but I was raised in a place called Kankakee, Illinois, which is about 45 minutes south of Chicago. So born in the D, east side, Detroit. Uh, grace and everything in Kankakee, Illinois, where I went to, you know, high school, junior high, and all that good stuff. And okay. you said, how was my upbringing? Yep, how was your upbringing? Man, I, man, I'm, I was blessed, man. I'm still blessed. So I'm, I was one of the fortunate people to have, you know, my um, mother, and father did. They celebrated 51 years of marriage. Um, can't really complain. We moved a few times. We actually lived in Indiana, Elkhart, Indiana, for a little bit in the early '80s. But man, I'm youngest of three. But again, I got everything. I got fed in both ways, you know, just from a, from a, the nourishment standpoint and then mental, you know, so I was kind of, it was, it would have been all on me if I didn't, <laughs> didn't become what I'm doing now. You feel me? I got you. How long you been in uh, St. Louis? Man, St. Louis is 97. I went to, uh, after I graduated from Kankakee High School in 97, I attended SIU Edwardsville. So really SIU is about 20 minutes, 25 minutes south. You know, it's a uh, Illinois side, but once I graduated from SIUE in 2001, I later moved to St. Louis, okay. 2002 or so, so. Okay, listen, for, for anybody who's never been to St. Louis, you know, they say we're the number one murder capital. People be scared to come here. For people who has never been to St. Louis, what can you tell them about St. Louis if they want to come out? Man, first of all, it's, it's, it's dangerous and everything everywhere. But I think with, with, with St. Louis, man, it's, it's my home. I've been my whole professional life. My wife is from St. Louis, yeah. South City, representing U City. So I give her a shout out. But <laughs> I think the place is what you make it, man. <clears throat> a lot of times crime is, to me, and I won't say economics solve everything, but a lot of times it's tied to economics and hope. You know, understand? So we give some of our young people things that's going on now. We have so many disparities and all that. But I think. Uh, St. Louis, just like Detroit and Chicago back in the day, used to get bad rap. New Orleans, they would always be grouped in that crime mm -hmm. and all that. But and it is, it is some things we have to work on as as a people. But I think ultimately, uh, we can change that dynamic. And I think, and in, in sometimes the media, we don't own the media. So you, good brother like yourself, doing good positive po podcasts and information like that, but we don't control the media, so the narrative sometimes skew. But we do got to tighten up on that. It is some some you know things going on, but can't let that paralyze them. We got to get out here and get it. Definitely. And look, man, Danielle, we still alive, so come on. Man. <laughs> right. I'm 44, so let's go. <laughs> okay. So, look, I know for over 20, over 20 years, you've been in entrepreneurship. Um, what got you into, like, marketing and graphic design and web that is a site design and all that? Okay. I appreciate that. No, so what got me into, actually, I was an illustrator. So, back in the day in high school and all that, me and my brother used to draw and, and paint and all that. So, I got to college to start off with like education and coaching. I got into then when graphic then the nineties graphic design started to pop up. Like man, that's how I'm right up my alley is graphic. I, I wasn't my math game wasn't that good. So the architect and engineer and I'm like ah, but I but I was always creative and could put stuff together. So I was like, graphic design is right up my alley. So I was the one doing the club flyers, party flyers in college, and that turned into my first probably my first six figure business to be honest with you. But it started with just a love of being a creative person and, and translating that into to uh, the computer and, and the rest was kind of history with the graphic design and that later got into digital imaging web design and all that good stuff okay so um you are the business development manager the kind of leaf financial group at the uh, central region and yes, you tell me how do you how do you get into that position and also tell the people about the kind of leaf financial group. 
Absolutely. I, and I, because I can be long with it, so I'll do it. I'll do a snapshot. So, I mean, first of all, I'm excited. So, I had my the first person I, when I got my insurance license, the first person I called was Miss Kathy Conley Jones. So, she's actually the pioneer behind Kathy Conley Jones in St. Louis, right? Started it. <laughs> yeah, salute to Kathy Conley Jones. Salute. See you more at the, the I interviewed night. her too. I interviewed her too. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, so she's the insurance guru, mentor to anybody who come through. But no, so she, from the St. Louis standpoint, and she had an office in Chicago on that. So she actually, so I met her doing some marketing with Dave Beckford and a few other people. We stayed in connection. Um, but she kept telling me, get your insurance license. When you get your license, call me. So once I got my license, called her. Um, now the company, now where we're at, uh, two, about two plus years ago, a, a gentleman who was her successor is Quincy Branch, who's a, a solid, sharp young brother uh, from the Vegas area. That's where Branch Benefits Consultant. They actually acquired Kathy Conley Jones's uh, organization from a book of business standpoint. But again, Kathy, her reputation, her name is is un, is impeccable. So again, that's why we kept the Conley Financial in the St. Louis market. But we have other markets in D.C. and and obviously uh, our flagship is in Vegas. Then we have offices in Kansas City and a few other areas. But my original interest in insurance was just I'm, you know, I have a 17 year old and a three year old, and I've been life insurance agent for a while as an independent broker. But I said, let me get with a company, the mi larger minority owned company that got support, resources, mentorship. I said, that's where I need to be. I can bring my, you know, my <laughs> networking skills. So I just have to. So it was, it was like a, a match made in, it was a perfect match, perfect mix. Gotcha. Um, so let me ask you this. How many brokers are in the St. Louis group for the county? Oh, it, you know what? In St. Louis, it's really just the three of us. Well, I serve as the, again, the, the business development managers. Then we have a young lady, Amanda Strickland, who's actually, she was actually the first person to, but the transition happened with Conley Financial and, and uh, uh, Branch Benefits. She was the first, she was in place. So that was uh, her and Kathy had a connection. And then uh, we also have a young lady, Stacy. Uh, Stacy's in our office too, so she's from Kansas City area. She's our so it's the three of us, and then obviously Quincy, who you met, yeah, fly. Right. He'll be in tomorrow. He'll be in town tomorrow, so we're getting it. So Quincy and then O'Shea, so so yeah, they are the, the Vegas, the main main office. Okay, so let me ask you, what kind of uh, community engagement is the firm doing? Man, we are. When you say we are the community, like we we we, we, <laughs> we are. So first of all, Quincy, when I say he got frequent flyer miles, so he fly back, and I'm about to. It's going to even go up next year, but we had quite a few uh, community centric events with uh, I was just at the 100 Black Men event. I'm a member of that as well. So I was there kind of representing County Financial Group and just a lot of good, uh, good uh, positive. Some of our people, a lot of good positive brothers and sisters. So I had to be there uh, prior to that. We had a, a turkey giveaway that was on the uh, the 8th. Uh, no, not the 8th. That was early, um, that was in November that we did a turkey giveaway that with the whole team. And we partnered with a, a few uh, a, a non for profit there, okay. uh, Cass STL. Uh, and that was something Amanda set up. Uh, we're always doing something in the community. We're looking for more opportunities. You know, I have something planned with, uh, you know, Annie Malone, you know, the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Got to give a shout out to the uh, Delta Epsilon Lambda chapter. Uh, but just different organizations that I'm a part of where I think makes sense. You know, the Urban League that we want to make sure we're not just intentional about being in the community, but really making an impact and a difference and showing and showing the, some of these young professionals that can get into the insurance profession. It's a it's a, mm -hmm. it's a profession that can definitely uh, be life changing for uh, whether you're in high school, college, you know, um, and so forth. So. OK. And uh, I also see that you are the deputy director of operations at the Black Chamber. Uh, yes, sir. Tell me how you got into that and tell me about the chamber. Also. Yeah, man. First of all, the chamber, if you if you're black or brown business owner, you're looking to elevate scale, get mentorship, get the marketing. You, that's a place you need to be, you know, just from iron sharper and iron. Or as I say, with the CEO and president, Mr. Uh, Marvin Steele just celebrated his birthday. Shout out to brother Steele. He had a nice event Friday, December 15th. Uh, he's the president and CEO. Of the, like we are, we oh, so you, okay. You guys turn it up together there. Right. That's right. So now I'm in the chamber is everything that for me as an entrepreneur kind of embodies because it's about, we, we build each other up. We support, we have resources from grants, to uh to like i say your 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 cpas your accountants and everything in between you have um uh, young ladies that are uh general contractors about 400 businesses in the chamber uh 200 are um members at large about 100 virtual members meaning you can have the physical address the 929 spring avenue address and that will put you in a position to have money uh to 
qualify for grants and things in the city. Then we also have about 22 uh, accelerator um, businesses that are physically at the location. So now how I came with Marvin, we both keep in mind, represent the 313, both from the Detroit, got similar stories. Uh, he's just a good person to learn from. And he has so many stories and layers to him. Had a cab company, entrepreneur, been in the political space, just been all over. And his knowledge and skills that he's so uh, selfless. You know, that's something I think we share. We're very selfless about our own people and empowering our people to take it to the next level. Because if the chamber win, we win, we all win. So for me, it's, it's, it's uh, so I, that kind of came organically. Just being a member, had my daughter, she had, a, uh, had her business in the chamber. I've been kind of tied to the black chamber since it, since its inception in 2017, 18, and went through some transitions and so forth. But I definitely once connected with uh, uh, Mr. Steele is, is, is game over. You know, we, we really try to get it together and uh, make sure we empower our own uh, as uh, business owners and take it to the next level. Okay. So, you know, you've done so much, you've done a lot. Uh, on your journey, what would you say has been your greatest challenge? Greatest challenge? Um, you know, I have a, my book, I talk about transition from college to corporate and, and multiple streams of income and this balance. I think balance would probably be a good, you know, I spent actually about seven, almost seven years at Harris State University where they had a great experience. You know, was, was track coach there, was director of development there. Uh, creative director there did a lot there, but I think sometimes you have to understand when it's your time to transition to make a bigger impact. Cause I'm in this, I talk about legacy building all the time, we have a non-for-profit. I give a shout out to legacy Institute, but we talk about just empowering, obviously our, make sure our family good, but the goal is to make sure we break a generational curses and our family's families. So my three-year-old, his family, his family's families is good. You know, so we, it's bigger than, it's bigger than us. So that's why I kind of do all this crazy stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm like a, in a laser focus doing that, you know, and intentional. Gotcha. Okay. So what would you say to flip that? What would you say has been your greatest accomplishment? I had to, I, I take all the business away and say family, man. Like they've been married, my uh, beautiful wife, Morgan, we would be you know going up on nine years and uh, it'd be, you know, next year, April 26th, uh, you know, stepdaughters, about to graduate college, about to graduate high school looking at colleges now, then, you know, three-year-olds, so family, you know, family is a cornerstone. And then uh, when I say foundational, you know, um, but and it, your, our why, a lot of times when we do have families, that's our why. My why is definitely my family, but it's definitely our people, you know, so it's kind of, is that why I say it is, you can't stop, you know, you can, you can <laughs> take breaks and all that, but it's go time. So, but, you know, definitely. Yeah, congratulations on that too. So, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, do you have anything else coming up that you want to promote? Man, there's always something coming up. We've got the holidays obviously coming up. Everybody be safe and, and take time to just reflect on family and, and try to recharge your batteries. But we have a, we have a, actually a NIA event tomorrow. NIA is National African American uh, Insurance Association, St. Louis chapter. We have a uh, holiday party. Uh, uh, was it Daniel? Uh, Daniel Henry is out, in, I think, three, of course, something. So that's going on tomorrow. That's, it's been gala season, but that's kind of winding down for the, for the semester. I mean, for the, uh, the end of the year but ultimately man this uh first quarter is going to be jumping you know i think the chamber we just had a big event with the uh, uh diversity uh it was a, a minority di uh, certification workshop we had we'll start doing every month we'll be doing workshops lunch and learns every single month we're we'll just trying to build that up with kindly financial we're just you know my job is developing so i'm out here shaking hands kissing babies but outside of that build, keeping those relationships intact and building uh, organic relationships and those personal relationships because in our business and in most businesses they like you and trust you they're going to do business with you the yeah. biggest thing is to make sure you do what you say you're going to do don't over promise under deliver and just and, and show up and show out and have your unique selling point so that's going to always happen but I'm, I'm big on so a lot of events to come coming forward I will give a um, yeah so quite a few events even with the fraternity we got a, a derby coming out that'll be in May uh, alpha derby that's always a big time grown up um, you know, so we have a lot of events coming up uh, next next calendar year. But gotcha. right now we're just trying to coast. But but brother, I got to give you props and your flowers, man. Keep doing what you're doing. I see you. So oh, like I, I said, you, you do it anyway, <laughs> I can support you in the future, however that looks. Man, I would say my network is your network, good brother. So I, bet I appreciate I appreciate that too. So how can the people get in contact uh, with Conley, you know, Financial Group? Absolutely. I mean, you can go on the website, the the Conley Financial Group dot com. Or it's an abbreviated version, just T T C F G I N S dot com. 
Uh, we're on social media. We're on, uh, you know, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. We're all over social media. I'm Mr. Network, so you can get at me through the Conley. I, um, but we're we're out here, you know, we, and we always say um, change the world one insurance policy at a time. You know, let's get it. Let's build. That's something our CEO, Quincy Brent, stands by. So we we make that impact also impact in the community. Like I say, let's get it. Let's build. Man, we, we have to. OK, OK. So my last question that I like yeah. to ask all my guests. OK. When it is all said and done and you are long gone from this earth, what is it that you want the world to know about the nail pile? Man, stand up, just stand up and try to help whoever he could help, you know, and make an impact. Mm. There you go. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dede. I appreciate you. I'm definitely going to uh, let you know when we drop this article and uh, this Ooh. video interview. And I uh, thank you for everything that you're doing in the community, y'all. So appreciate you, good brother. And like I say, anything you need from, from me or any anything that I'm affiliated with, just let me know, man. Like I say, um, we, we, as our goal to be intentional and make, make sure we both, every we, you win, I win, vice versa. So let's get it. Let's build, brother. All right. Have a good evening. All right. You be good. All right. Peace out. Salute. Thank you.